it's Candace. Um, it's just me. Tefflet's in his crate. Because if you've seen any of my previous unboxings, uh, you'll know we're having some very scary, stormy uh, tornado weather going on. So I'm just trying to get caught up on boxings in between um, the very terrifying moments we're having. So, um, now I've had this box for a while, um, so it's already been spoiled, I've already seen it, uh, it's just another one box as it was slow getting to me, and then, um, you know, real life with moving and such, uh, I've just not had time to do a whole lot of unboxing, so I'm just trying to get caught up, but we have... J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World box from Loot Crate. Um, this is one of their bi-monthly boxes. The uh, specialty boxes that they do, their um, price point's usually $20 more, around $20 more than your regular Loot Crate box. Um, these are $34.99 plus uh, shipping, so it's about $40, but Sometimes you can find coupon codes, find coupon codes uh, online and get them for a little bit less. But um, I love Loot Crate specialty boxes. This one's one of my favorite. I've had it from the beginning. I love, love, love. When you sign up, you get to choose your um, your Hogwarts house, Slytherin Pride. Um, so. I know the theme for um, this current box, which I guess is the March-April box, whatever. Um, it was House Pride, and it's um, so minus Slytherin. And when you open the box, you see the the Sorting Hat. So the first thing we have is a Slytherin beanie. And I got a Ravenclaw beanie in a subscription box a couple years ago. And I'm still trying to get the matching Slytherin for that. Because I also identify as uh, Ravenclaw. So, hashtag Slytherclaw pride. There we go. Um, but, so I still want that beanie, but... This one I really, really like, and it's already the first week of April, so not so much beanie weather at the moment. However, um, this weekend it's going to get very, very cold for two days, so hopefully it'll be chilly enough that I can use it, because I love this, and it's so soft. And it is licensed, as, uh, it's a Loot Crate exclusive, um, and it's done through BioWorld, and we all know BioWorld is pretty pricey. And i um, got a new pen to add to my pen board. I don't have very many Harry Potter pens, so I have a few Snape ones, but um, this is a cool addition. It is the sorting hat. Focus. And it is from BioWorld and is a Loot Crate exclusive. This is really, really awesome. I got and it is a Loot Crate exclusive um, through Accessory Innovations. But it is a Slytherin duffel bag. Which is really awesome. I love this. And this would be perfect for me to put my video camera and my professional digital camera in if I wanted to take them both to one place and that's what I wanted to do but I didn't have a bag like this to put them in 
So that is really, really awesome. That's awesome. I can't close it. The next thing we have, so Slytherin Pride. <laughs> Haven't worn this shirt yet. This from my Hot Topic haul a few months ago. Do, do, do. Maybe I don't need it. So I got a really nice lanyard. Now I'm not much of a lanyard collector. Um, unless it's a nice one. And this one is. Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Hogwarts. Let's get a ticket on that side. The train on that side. And then it's got... Metal charm. And every box comes with a scroll. Which is our spoiler card, so open that last. Last thing we have is our shirt. It's a Loot Crate exclusive. And it's a three-quarter sleeve raglan. This thing is freaking amazing. And I cannot wait to wash that and wear it. I'm not used to wearing very short sleeves. I wear a shirt that makes me have boob cleavage going on. Alright, so we always get these little scrolls. And that is what our spoiler card is. And it's this month it's got the Hogwarts houses on the back. Hogwarts House Pride, Bravery, Wisdom, Ambition, and Loyalty, Coordinating Colors. Um, so it looks like this month everybody got the same thing, um, unless you're a different house than somebody else. But other than that, you, um, everybody got the shirt, the pen. Uh, the lanyard, the duffel bag, and the, um, the beanie. So, that's a really good box. And, well, I mean, I'd already sent, so I knew it was already a good box. Um, a lot of people, like, um, because I'm, like, in a lot of Harry Potter Facebook groups, and, um, I'll post my pictures in there sometimes of my, um, Wizarding Crate, and a lot of a lot of people in the group asked me, for forty dollars, do they think this box is worth it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, like I said, considering uh, they they do a lot of partnership with BioWorld, uh, Harry Potter BioWorld stuff is very expensive. Um, the the earlier line of beanies that I got where I got the Ravenclaw one, it's uh, gray and dark blue. Um, the other, all the beanies from that line run about $15. So um, I'm going to say that's about what that is. Um, lanyards. I really don't know what to think of lanyards, but um, I know a hot topic. They sell them anywhere from eight fifty to twelve fifty. Um, I'd really have to like one before I bought one. Um, if it had Snape's face on it, I would buy it. But um, I mean, getting them in the box is fine. But I know, I know how pricey they can be. And 
does it say who made this? BioWorld. So, yeah. Um, and if you're into the whole pen collecting thing, like a lot of us are really getting into last year or so, um, pens like this run anywhere from eight to fifteen dollars. And a, a duffel bag like this, especially um, Harry Potter themed, and it being licensed, I'm I'm pretty safe to say that these are probably at least twenty five dollars. And um, most shirts, I always give a value of. Um, 12 to 15 a little bit more um, for the bigger sizes and that includes shipping because if you go on Loot Crate site or some of the other sites and you get to buy past shirts or um, Shirt Punch has like a daily deal shirt or T-Villain you still have to pay shipping so um, always give 10 to 15 um, for shirts, like I said, a little more for the bigger sizes. Raglan's, however, um, they can get pretty pricey. Um, a shirt like this could be easily uh, twenty-five to thirty at something like at Hot Topic or um, sites that do um, Raglan shirts. Same thing. They can be about $35, so, um, do I think this box is worth, uh, the $40? Absolutely. Um, and then some. So, yeah, I mean, you can do the math for yourself. I know some YouTubers want to give a much lower value, and maybe that's what they would want to buy it for, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's what the, what it's currently going for, um, at, you know, online stores, Hot Topic, um, I, I just, from a value point wise, I want to price it by what it goes for retail, so, um, so that tells you right there, I think the box more than meets its value, and then some, um, I'm a big sucker for anything Harry Potter, as you know, so, Definitely a really awesome box. I don't I don't even know if they've um, released the theme for the next one, but it doesn't matter because I love this box and I think um, they're just getting better and better. Um, same with their other specialty boxes. So I really, really enjoy it. Be sure to check them out and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell in the description box below to be notified of when we post new content on our channel. That's it for me. Petfoot sends his love. And hopefully he'll be back for the next unboxing um, for the Wizarding Box. So that's it for us. Peace.